What's up my poker players? How we doing today? Let's jump right into some table and hand analysis. I have king queens in middle position. I make it 3x with three regulars with good numbers, tight aggressive players to my left, and then one fish up there in the small blind and a aggressive regular in the big blind. You always want to look to your left to make sure that you don't have any crazy loose players. Um, who are going to three bet you very often when you're betting a hand like this in middle position. As you can see, these three players to my left all the way to the button have very low three bet percentages, 4.5, 1.6, 3.5. But the player who calls me, he's uh, an aggressive player, but you can see that he folds 100% on the flop, 100% on the turn. So if I don't hit that flop and it's a relatively dry board, almost any board I'm gonna be betting on. So I bet, take the hand down, pretty easy. Next hand we're looking at, I have ace-queen suited. Again, um, I have the tight players to my left, so I'm gonna re-raise, because I, I wanna get in a hand against uh, this player who also has a 100% fold on a flop, you always want to be betting. You never really want to call with without hands that don't show show down well, even pre-flop. So the ace queen is it's a drawing hand. You're only you only have ace high until you hit something. So I three bet it pre-flop, and I wind up getting two calls: one by the fish on the button, and the pre-flop raiser early position. Early position raises are usually good hands. So I, I kind of have to be careful here, but I hit top two pair. Um, there's a lot of straight draws out there. You know, the, the fish, I guess, could be playing a king jack. Uh, I don't think the other guy would play a king jack out of, out of first position. He probably has a hand like ace king, maybe ace jack, maybe has kings. Um, but he called my flop bet and pot committed himself. So I put them all in. And somehow he makes the fold, which is, you know, it's crazy. I mean, you, you're pot committing yourself. Your stack value is half the pot. When you make that flop call, I pretty much assume that he's going to make the, the turn call as well. But he does not, and I take down the hand. Thank you. The next hand we're going to look at is a blind versus blind, where it folds all the way around. You're in the small blind. You have an ace high, and there is a tight player to your left who only four bets or th only three bets, 4.5% of the time. You wanna put a little bit more pressure on, on this player to prevent him from playing in position against you. So I make it 4x when betting from the small blind against a player like this to pretty much win the hand and steal his big blind right away, it, which is exactly what happens. Now we're gonna look at a hand where I have King Jack suited in middle position. Under the gun calls, and I get a call to my right against two, you know, tight aggressive players. The guy to my right is really tight. So I just make a call. I'm in position against these players and want to see a cheap flop. Maybe I can get in and with a couple fish here too. See what happens. I flop top pair, decent kicker with a jack. I could see a king, queen calling from some of these players. Um, I could see fives or sixes also calling um, from some of these players. So this is, this is one of those hands where you have to be careful. And there are six players who see the flop. Checked all the way around to me. I'm going to bet to prevent any draws, getting a free card, any king lower kicker catching up. I'm going to find out if there's you know possibly a five, trip fives or trip sixes if anyone hit their three of a kind on the flop. I get called to my left, called by the small blind. This is a very draw heavy board. The seven seven eight suited got there. I could poss there could possibly be that. So I'm gonna bet small again just to make any draws pay again. And hopefully I can see a showdown cheap with this hand, with the showdown value, which is pretty much what my hand is now. Um, now I have two pair, jack kicker. I just want to get to the showdown, see something cheap. You know, hopefully there's not a king queen out there, or a king nine that beats me. And we wind up splitting the pot king jack. Pretty much worked out 
the way you wanted it, you know, just to get the show down, get there cheap. Looks like the guy to my left had the same idea about the hand. All right, the next hand we're looking at is threes out of the small blind. There is a min raise from the cutoff and a call from the button. Uh, I'm getting good odds here with 15 cents to call. They don't have really big stacks, but I'm getting enough odds to call with my pocket threes and hopefully hit one of those. Call from the big blind as well. And right here, I'm just going to check it down. Hopefully, I can get the showdown and win with threes. Um, if there's any bet, I'm going to fold because I'm going to be way behind. Um, same thing here. Any bet, they, they hit their, they were slow playing a king, trip twos, trip fours, or they hit their queen on the turn. Checks all the way around. I'm probably in the lead. Uh, now I hit three of a kind down the river. Perfect river. I'm going to bet this and hopefully get it called by a low queen who just checked all the way around. So I'm going to make it an enticing bet. I don't want to bet too big here because I want someone to call. And that is exactly what happens. I get one caller and win five more big blinds. Next hand we're going to look at is another blind battle where I have a seven offsuit out of the big blind. Um, there's five dead cents in the pot and the small blind just calls so I have a drawing hand so I'm gonna bet and put a little pressure on him. Um, flop comes out really dry, no flush draw, there's a straight draw out there, jack high and he, this player has, Abby Hugh has a small stack, he or she is almost committed already so I'm gonna bet small just to put a little pressure on and hopefully win the pot outright right now. Um, chances are that this player did not hit that and they make a call. Possibly see a draw, maybe there's a 6-7. Um, now this player is pot committed. I could, I could bet it again and try to take it outright. Or I could check and hopefully they have 6-7 and was, was drawing the whole way. I do check. Um, I don't have stats on this player because this is this player's first hand. Uh, Flush just got there. I'm going to check again. And they mock. And I win with the ace high. This player might have been playing a 6-7 suited. That's my best guess. I'm actually surprised that an ace high won that there with the call on the flop. On to the next one. We have jack four suited spades out of the small blind uh two calls from the cutoff and or from the hijack and the cutoff i'm gonna call just make a call with jack four suited and hopefully hit a flop just like that one uh now i'm gonna slow play any the only hand that's gonna call me if i bet here would be kings um now i'm gonna bet and maybe maybe get called down by a pair less than kings um get called out of the out of the big blind maybe a a straight draw could be a low king could be a small pair my bet isn't that scary and i fill up full house now i'm gonna bet big you can see the player to my left has very low fold numbers on the turn not good showdown numbers on the river too so that you want to bet this player isn't going to be folding much on the river with those type of showdown numbers they show down a lot and they show down a lot with worse hands a big bet there is going to work best and now we have ace king suited out of the big blind a very tight nitty player calls under the gun plus one and there's a raise to his left by another regular who three bets but three bets often with less than optimal hands so i'm gonna i'm gonna four bet here and put a little pressure on this player i get raised by the very tight knit and look at those three bet numbers 1.3 100 has queens or higher so i can easily get rid of that ace king suited not many people are going to make that fold that is almost definitely kings or aces with that type of play the slow play and the last hand we're going to look at today is king three suited out of the small blind we have a call from middle position folds around to me i call the five cents two aces and a jack flush draw out there any jack or ace is probably going to bet there to prevent a flush or straight draw from getting there so i'm not really worried about that i'm more worried about the draws i hit a flush around the turn bet both players fold they didn't have a jack or an ace most likely they might have had low pair over there from the call out of middle position and the guy 
playing the big blind, probably just had a couple little cards. So I take the pot down, nice and easy. Perfect way to end the session. Love when that happens. Thank you for watching, my poker players. Don't forget to check out the links down in the video description. I've got a link for America's Card Room, the only place I play where I am doing my $50 to $100,000 in a year challenge. Download the program, play alongside me. We'll have some fun together. Say what's up to me on the table. There is also a link for Hold a Manager, which is the stat program that you see on my screen. I highly, highly recommend downloading that. It will pay for itself. You really cannot play poker online without a HUD. And in my opinion, Hold a, Hold a Manager is the best. I'll see you out on the virtual felt.